Hi, today I'm going to show you how to point a domain from a GoDaddy account to a one at one hosting account. Okay, so first, what we're going to do, we're going to go to GoDaddy.com. Once you've logged in with your username and password, you go under Domains and you click under My Domains, right? And then you pick which domain, but you want to point to your one at one account, all right? So just leave this window open and we're going to go over to our one at one hosting account. Okay. Once you log in with your username and password, go under domains. Okay, here you're going to click on new. Here you're going to type in the name of the domain that you want to point. and click check domain. Okay, this is automatically going to do a, ch a search to see if the, if the domain name is available. Um, if it uh, was was not available, as, as it's the case here, it's because we purchased it obviously through GoDaddy, but if it would be available, I mean you could basically overwrite the GoDaddy process and watch my other video on how to point a domain that was purchased through one at one. But like it says, this domain is not available. That's fine. What we're going to do is point DNS to one at one right here. Check that. Click next. Okay. This is not too important. This is uh, mail server settings. Just use the one at one mail servers for now. Click next. Okay. Now this info is important. This is a name server info. This is what you're going to enter in your um, in your GoDaddy account, okay? So you're going to copy this. You're going to open up uh, just something to take notes in, either WordPad, Notepad, right? Paste it in there. Minimize that and click Order. And then click Go to Overview. Okay. Now, what we want to do is go ahead and point this to a folder in our hosting account, right? So we're going to go ahead and tick this and click Destination. Under Destination, go ahead and click on Edit. What we want to do is create a new folder in the root directory, right? So when people type in this, this um, domain name is going to go to that folder which you can edit with your FTP program okay so what we're going to do is create a new directory and we're going to call it fix okay obviously you could call it whatever you want then press OK and then go to overview okay so our work is done at one at one here. Okay, so now we modify our Google account. Click on your domain. Click under name servers. And the info that we um, copied and pasted into our WordPad is what we're going to input here. So, okay. Okay. Make sure you have checked custom name servers, right? When you check this, this will appear here. The info that we're going to paste here is what we copied from the um, from the one at one page. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and copy this here. Paste this one over here. Copy this one here. Paste this one over here. You press OK. It's going to take a few minutes to propagate. Press OK again. And that's pretty much it. You should wait maybe around 
15 minutes or so and your new website should be up and running on your one at one name server. Thank you.